Hello, I'm meteorologist Sabrina Fine. We have severe weather anticipated for tonight. All of this ahead of a cold front bringing much cooler temperatures and gusty conditions for your Monday. Tonight, though, severe thunderstorm watch everywhere shaded in orange and pink. So you can pretty much, that's most of us. If we are west out of the bay, that's going to last until 8 o'clock tonight. And if you're east of the bay until 10 p.m. tonight, the risk of severe weather includes Hail. Now, I've already seen reports of it golf ball size. That's all going to move to the east. We're also dealing with some very strong winds. Not to rule out, though, an isolated tornado embedded in some of these storms. Satellite radar shows you a lot of the activity here. The oranges and yellows beginning to pop up, as well as plenty of lightning strikes as it all pushes to the east at about 30 miles per hour. The strongest storms right now over the evening hours seem to be primarily right around Washington, D.C. But for us, I think the main threat of any tornado activity will be on the Pennsylvania Maryland border. So we'll keep an eye on that for us tonight. Yet again, the cold front is the culprit. So once this pushes on through, look what happens. High pressure from Canada begins to sink on in and with that bringing in much cooler air. We're talking temperatures dropping some 10 to 15 degrees compared to where they were today. Also dealing with some winds though, I'd say around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that's going to make it feel even cooler. So Monday is just going to be so refreshing compared to the humidity we've been dealing with. The future cast for those thunderstorms though, tonight at about 630, you can see maybe some activity happening out over toward Haverty Grace. It looks like for the most part though, out over toward Hagerstown, we should be dry. Fast forward now at around seven o'clock, still dealing with some hit or miss showers, but it looks like the intensity really has dropped somewhat. By 8 o'clock, maybe just out over toward the Pennsylvania uh, Maryland border there, you can see another round of shower activity. And by 9 o'clock, we're done with it. The clouds start to clear out. We'll notice crisp sunshine coming out for us on our Monday as well as with that cooler air. As far as the rainfall totals go for tonight, we could see maybe a tenth of an inch out over toward Parkton, Bel Air, maybe only five hundredths of an inch. So if we're stuck in a heavy thunderstorm, we could see a little bit more, but for now it looks like the heaviest activity hanging out just to our south. For tonight, we'll notice those clouds beginning to clear on out. Temperatures fall though. We're going to go into the 50s for tonight and it gets even cooler tomorrow night, by the way. By 9 a.m., 66 degrees, gorgeous sunshine, staying pretty with a little bit of wind in our area until we get to 1 o'clock. Now you're looking at around 71. 70 forecast for you. Tomorrow we climb on up to 73. It will be windy. It will be very sunny and dry, though. That's what will be fairly refreshing. Tuesday, a little bit more cloud coverage. And Wednesday, the thunderstorm activity is back. The humidity, the stickiness, that returns as well for your Thursday and Friday. Right now, some questionable marks uh, for your weekend forecast. We could either see a lot of rain if a storm system makes its way to our area, but we could also be protected and it could make us fairly dry and warm. So still massaging that forecast for you. Stick with us online at W. MAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.